Hello, welcome to Jesus for All 2, God's Word, Your Daily Bread, the Bible, for September 12, 2024. Here, we will hear daily readings of God's Word, the Bible, the Bread of Life. For the book of John, chapter 6, verse 35 reads, And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. Our goal is to hear all of the Bible by the end of December 2024, to increase our faith. Because Romans 10, 17, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God, to please the Heavenly Father. For Hebrews eleven six. But without faith it is impossible to please Him. For he who comes to God must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. And John 6, verse 57 to 58 in the Amplified, Just as the living Father sent me, and I live by through because of the Father, even so, whoever continues to feed on me, whoever takes me for his food and is nourished by me, shall in his turn live through and because of me. Verse 58, This is the bread that came down from heaven. It is not like the manna which our forefathers ate and yet died. He who takes this bread for his food shall live forever, as well as our we have as a goal to walk in the abundant life that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ redeemed for us with his blood, death, and resurrection from the cross at Calvary. For the book of John 10, 9 reads, I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. 10, the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Verse 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. And Psalm 23, 1, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. As well as to do the works and the greater works as a goal that the Lord and Savior said we would do in the book of John, chapter 14, verse 12. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. And Mark chapter 16, verse 15, And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. 17. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons, they will speak with new tongues. 18. They will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Luke eleven twenty eight. But he said more than that. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Amen. And so the words of God that we shall receive today, September 12th, and we pray for the grace to keep the word, are Psalm 136, Proverb 12, the Old Testament reading will be from the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 1 through 44, verse 28. And the New Testament reading will be from the book of Matthew, chapter 12, in the name of Jesus Christ, verse 1 through 50. The psalm, our prayer focus, Psalm 92, and the New Testament reading will be from the New King James Version of the Bible, copyright 1982, by Thomas Nelson, Incorporated, used by permission, all rights reserved. The Old Testament reading, Isaiah, shall be from the book, the Amplified Version of the Bible, copyright 1954, 1958, 1962, 1964, 1965, and 1987 by the Lachman Foundation. I'd like to thank every listener of Jesus for all too. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that your faith is increasing, your knowledge of the promises of God, and that you are receiving the grace to walk in those promises. I humbly ask in the name of Jesus Christ that you would share Jesus for all too with another, that you would subscribe, amen, and that you would give it the hand symbol indicating that it is to your liking. Hallelujah. The Bible before us is a parallel Bible, having on the left-hand side the New King James Version of the Bible, and the same scriptures on the right-hand side in the Amplified Version of the Bible. And now, Proverb 136. The theme of Proverb 136 
the never-ending story of God's love. God deserves our praise because his endless love never fails. Amen. And it reads, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. O oh, give thanks to the Lord of gods. Verse 2, O oh, give thanks to the God of gods, for his mercy endures forever. O oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, for his mercy endures forever. To him who by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endures forever. Six, to him who laid out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endures forever. Seven, to him who made great lights, for his mercy endures forever. The sun for to rule by day, for his mercy endures forever. The moon and the stars to rule by night, for his mercy endures forever. To him who struck Egypt in their firstborn, for his mercy endures forever. And brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endures forever. Twelve, with a strong hand and with an outstretched arm, for his mercy endures forever. To him who divided the Red Sea in two, for his mercy endures forever. And made Israel pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endures forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his army in the Red Sea, for his mercy endures forever. Sixteen, to him who led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endures forever. To him who struck down great kings, for his mercy endures forever. And slew famous kings, for his mercy endures forever. Sion, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endures forever. And Og, king of Bashan, for his mercy endures for ever and gave their ha land as a heritage for his mercy endures for forever a heritage to Israel his servant for his mercy endures forever who remembered us in our lowly state for his mercy endures forever and rescued us from our enemies for his mercy endures forever who gives food to all flesh for his mercy endures forever. Verse 26 and last. O oh, give thanks to the Lord of heaven, for his mercy endures forever. And we thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, for your mercy, your love, your faithfulness, and your great grace over us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. And now, Proverb 12. And it reads, Whoever loves instruction loves knowledge, but he who hates correction is stupid. A good man obtains favor from the Lord, but a man of wicked intentions he will condemn. A man is not established by wickedness, but the root of the righteous cannot be moved. An excellent wife is the crown of her husband, but he who causes shame is like rottenness in his bones. Five. The thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceitful. The words of the wicked are lie in wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright will deliver them. 7. The wicked are overthrown and are no more, but the house of the righteous will stand. A man will be commended according to his wisdom, but he who is of a perverse heart will be despised. 9. Better is one who is slighted, but has a servant, than he who honors himself but lacks bread. A righteous man regards the life of his animal, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. He who tills his land will be satisfied with bread, but he who follows frivolity is devoid of understanding. 12. The wicked covet the catch of evil men, but the root of the righteous yields fruit. The wicked is ensnared by the transgression of his lips, but the righteous will come through trouble. A man will be satisfied with good by the fruit of his mouth. And the recompense of a man's hands will be rendered to him. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he who heeds counsel is wise. A fool's wrath is known at once, but a prudent man covers shame. He who speaks truth declares righteousness, but a false witness deceit. There is one who speaks like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise promotes health. The truthful lip shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. Deceit is in the heart of those who devise evil, but counsels of peace have joy. No grave trouble will overtake the righteous, but the wicked shall be filled with 
evil. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who deal truthfully are his delight. 23. A prudent man conceals knowledge, but the heart of fools proclaims foolishness. The hand of the diligent will rule, but the lazy man will be put to forced labor. Anxiety in the heart of a man causes depression, but a good word makes it glad. The righteous shall choose his friends carefully, for the way of the wicked leads them astray. 27. The lazy man does not roast what he took in hunting, but diligence is man's precious possession. 28. In the way of righteousness is life, and in its pathway there is no death. And in the name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ are every of us the hearers. And now the Old Testament reads Isaiah 42. Behold my servant whom I hold, whom I uphold, my elect in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice and right and reveal truth. To the nations. 2. He will not cry or shout aloud or cause his voice to be heard in the street. A verse 3. A bruised reed he will not break, and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will bring forth justice in truth. He will not fail or become weak or be crushed and discouraged till he has established justice in the earth. And the islands and the coast regions shall wait hopefully for him and expect his direction and law. 5. Thus says God the Lord, He who created the heavens and stretched them forth, He who spread abroad the earth and that which comes out of it, He who gives breath to the people on it and spirit to those who walk in it. 6. I the Lord have called you the Messiah for a righteous purpose and in righteousness. I will take you by the hand and will keep you. I will give you for a covenant to the people Israel, for a light to the nations, the Gentiles. 7. To open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from the dungeon, and those who sit in darkness from prison. Verse 8. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory I will not give to another, nor my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Sing to the Lord a new song, and his praise from the end of the earth. You who go down to the sea, and all that is in it, the lands and coasts, regions and inhabitants of them, sing a song such as has never been heard in the heathen world. Verse 11. Let the wilderness and its cities lift up their voices, the villages that Kedar inhabits. Let the inhabitants of the rock, Selah or Petra, sing. Let them shout from the tops of the mountains. Let them give glory, verse 12, to the Lord, and declare his praise in the islands and coast regions. The Lord will go forth like a mighty man. He will, he will rouse up his zealous indignation and vengeance like a warrior. He will cry. Yes, he will shout aloud. He will do mighty mightily against his enemies. Thus says the Lord, I have for a long time held my peace. I have been still and restrained myself and restrained myself. Now I will cry out like a woman in travail. I will gra gasp and pant together. 15. I will lay waste the mountains and hills and dry up all their heritage. I will bring the rivers into islands and I will dry up the pools. 16. And I will bring the blind by way that they know not. I will lead them in the paths that they have not known. I will make darkness into light before them and make uneven places into a plain. These things I have destined, determined to do for them, and I will not leave them forsaken. 17. They shall be turned back. They shall be utterly put to shame who trust in graven images, who see, say to molten images, You are our gods. Hear you, deaf, and look, you blind, that you may see. 19. Who is blind but my servant Israel, or deaf like my messenger whom I send? Who is blind like the one who is at peace with me, who has been admitted to covenant relationship with me? Yes, who is blind like the Lord's servant? 
20. You have seen many things, but you do not observe or apprehend their true meaning. His ears are open, but he hears not. 21. It was the Lord's pleasure for his righteousness sake, in accordance with a steadfast and consistent purpose, to magnify instruction and revelation and glorify them. But this is a people robbed and plundered. They are all of them snared in holes and hidden in houses of bondage. They have become a prey with no one to deliver them, a spoil with no one to say restore them. This shows the condition that will ensure as Israel's punishment for not recognizing the servant of the Lord and the day of his visit among them. 23. Who is there among you who will give ear to this? Who will listen and hear in the time to come? Verse 24. Who gave up Jacob, the kingdom of Judah, for spoil, and the kingdom of Israel to the robbers? Was it not the Lord, he also whom we of Judah have sent, and in whose ways they of Israel would not walk, neither were they obedient to his law or his teaching? 25. Therefore he poured out upon Israel the fierceness of his anger and the strength of battle, and it set him on fire round about, yet he knew not the lesson of repentance which the Assyrian conquest was intended to teach. It burned him, but he did not lay it to heart. Chapter 43 But now, in spite of past judgments for Israel's sins, thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you, ransomed you by paying a price. Instead of leaving you captives, I have called you by your name, and you are mine. Verse 2. Verse 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they will not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned or scorched, nor will the flame kindle upon you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt to the Babylonians for your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba, a province of Ethiopia, in exchange for your release. Verse 4. Because you are precious in my sight and honored, and because I love you, I will give men in return for you and peoples in exchange for your life. Fear not, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east where they are dispersed and gather you from the west. 6. I will say to the north, Give up, and to the south, Keep not back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. 7. Even everyone who is called by my name, whom I have created for my glory, whom I have formed, whom I have made. Bring forth the blind people who have eyes, and the deaf who have ears. 9. Let all the nations be gathered together, and let the peoples be assembled. Who among the idolaters could predict that this, that Cyrus would be the deliverer of Israel, and show us the former things? Let them bring their witnesses, that they may be justified, or let them hear and acknowledge it is the truth. 10. You are my witnesses, says the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know me, believe me, and remain steadfast to me, and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. 11. I, even I am the Lord, and besides me there is no Savior. 12. I have declared the future, and have saved the nation in times of danger. And I have shown that I am God, when there was no strange and alien God among you. Therefore you are my witnesses, says the Lord, that I am God. 13. Yes, from the time of the first existence of day, and from this day forth I am he, and there is no one who can deliver out of my hand. I will work, and who can deliver or reverse it? 14. Thus says the Lord your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, for your sake I have sent one, to Babylon, and I will bring down all of them as fugitives, with all their nobles, even the Chaldeans, into the ships over which they rejoiced. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Verse 16, Thus says the Lord, who makes a way through the sea, and a path through the mighty waters, who brings forth chariot and horse, army and mighty warrior. They lie down together, they cannot rise. They are extinguished, they are quenched, like a lamp wick. 
Do not earnestly remember the former things, neither consider the things of old nineteen. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive and know it? And will you not give heed to it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. 20. The beasts of the field honor me, the jackals and ostriches, because I give water in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. 21. The people I form for myself, that they may set forth my praise, and they shall do it. Yet you have not called upon me, much less toiled for me, O Jacob, but you have been weary of me, O Israel. You have not brought me your sheep and goats for burnt offerings or honored me with your sacrifices. I have not required you to serve with an offering or tri treated you as a slave by demanding tribute or wearied you with offering incense. You have not brought me sweet cane with money or satiated me with the fat of your sacrifices, but you have only burdened me with your sins. You have wearied me with your iniquities. I, even I, am he who blots out and cancels your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins. Put me in remembrance. Remind me of your merits. Let us plead and argue together. Set forth your case that you may be justified, proved right. 27. Your first father Jacob in particular sinned, and your teachers, the priests and prophets, you mediators, transgressed against me. 28. And so I will profane the chief ones of the sanctuary, and will deliver Jacob to the curse, the ban, a solemn anathema, or excommunication, and I will subject Israel to reproaches and reviling. Chapter 44. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus says the Lord, who made you and formed you from, from the womb. Who will help you? Fear not, O Jacob, my servant. And you, Jeshuan, the upright one, apply to Israel as a type of Messiah, whom I have chosen. 3. For I will pour water upon him who is thirsty, and floods and floods upon the ground. I will pour my spirit upon your offspring and my blessing upon your descendants. For, and they shall spring up among the grass like willows or poplars by the watercourses. Five, one will say, I am the Lord's, and another will call himself by the name of Jacob, and another will write, even brand or tattoo upon his hand, I am the Lord's, and surname himself by the honorable name of Israel. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, and I am the last. Besides me, there is no God. 7. Who is like me? Let him stand and proclaim it, declare it, and set his proofs in order before me, since I made and established the people of antiquity. Who has announced from of old the things that are coming? Then let them declare yet future things. 8. Fear not nor be afraid in the coming violet upheavals. Have I not told it to you from of old and de declared it? And you are my witnesses. Is there a God besides me? There is no other. Rock, I know not any. 9. All who make graven idols are confusion, chaos, and worthlessness. Their objects, idols in which they delight, do not profit them. And their own witnesses, worshippers, do not see or know so that they are not so that they are put to shame. Ten. Who is such a fool as to fashion a god or cast a graven image that is profitable for nothing? Eleven. Behold, all his fellows shall be put to shame, and the craftsmen, how can they make a god? They are but men. Let them all be gathered together. Let them stand forth. They shall be terrified. They shall be put to shame together. 12. The ironsmith sharpens and uses a chisel and works it over the coals. He shapes the core of the idol with hammers and forges it with his strong arm. He becomes hungry and his strength fails. He drinks no water and is faint. 13. The carpenter stretches out a line. He marks it out with a pencil or red ochre. He fashions an idol with planes and marks it out with the compasses, and he shapes it to have the figure of a man, with the beauty of a man, that it may dwell in a house. 14. 
He hews for himself cedars and takes the holm tree and the oak and lets them grow strong for himself among the trees of the forest. He plants a fir tree or an ash and the rain nourishes it. Fifteen, then it becomes fuel for a man to burn. A part of it he takes and warms himself, yet he kindles a fire and bakes bread. Then, out of the remainder of the livings, he also makes a god and worships it. He, with his own hand, makes it with a graven image and falls down and worships it. 16. He burns part of the wood in the fire. With part of it he cooks and eats fish, flesh. He roasts meat and, it is, and is satisfied. Also he warms himself and says, Aha! I am warm. I have seen the fire. 17. And from what is left of the log, he makes a god, his graven idol. He falls down to it. He worships it and prays to it and says, Deliver me, for you are my God. Verse 18. They do not know or understand, for their eyes God has left become besmeared, so that they cannot see, and their minds as well, so that they cannot understand. And no one considers in his mind, nor has he knowledge and understanding enough to say to himself, I have burned part of this log in the fire, and also I have baked bread on its coals, and have roasted meat and eaten it. And shall I make the remainder of it into an abomination, the very essence of what is disgusting, detestable, and shameful, vile in the eyes of a jealous God? Shall I fall down and worship the stock of a tree, a block of wood, without consciousness or life? 20. That kind of man feeds on ashes and finds himself finds his satisfaction in ashes. A deluded mind has led him astray, so that he cannot release and save himself or ask, Is not this thing I am beholding in my right hand a lie? 21. Remember these things earnestly, O Jacob, O Israel, for you are my servant. I formed you. You are my servant, O Israel. You shall not be forgotten by me. 22. I have blotted out like a thick cloud your transgressions, and like a cloud your sins. Return to me, for I have redeemed you. Sing, O heavens, for the Lord has done it. Shout, you depths of the earth. Break forth into singing, you mountains, O forest, and every tree in it. For the Lord has redeemed Jacob, and he glorified him in Israel. Thus says the Lord your Redeemer, and he who formed you from the womb, I am the Lord who made all things, who alone stretched out the heavens, who spread out the earth by myself, who was with me, 25, I was the Lord who frustrates the signs and confounds the omens upon which the false prophets forecast of the future are based, of the boasting lies and makes fools of diviners who turn the wise backward and make their knowledge foolishness. 26. The Lord, who confirms the word of his servant, and performs the counsel of his messengers, who says of Jerusalem, She shall again be inhabited, and of the cities of Judah, they shall again be built, and I will raise up their ruins. 27. Who says to the deep, Be dry, and I will dry up your rivers. 28. And last for today. Who says to Cyrus, he is my shepherd ruler, and he shall perform all my pleasures and fulfill all my pleasure, even saying of Jerusalem, she shall again be built, and of the peop of the temple, your foundations shall again be laid. And in the name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, are every of us the hearers. And now the New Testament reading. The book of Matthew, chapter 12, and it reads from the New King James Version of the Bible. Amen. Hallelujah. At that time, Jesus went through the grain field on the Sabbath, and his disciples were hungry, and began to pluck heads of grain and to eat. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said to him, Look, your disciples are doing what is not lawful to do on the Sabbath. But he said to them, Have you not read what David did when he was hungry, he and those who were with him, how he entered the house of God and ate the showbread, which was not lawful for him to eat, nor for those who were with him, but only for the priest? 5. Or have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath the priest in the temple profaned the Sabbath and are blameless? 
6. Yet I say to you that in this place there is one greater than the temple. 7. But if you had known what this means, I desire mercy and not sacrifice, you would not have condemned the guiltless. For the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. 9. Now when they had departed from there, he went into their synagogue. And behold, there was a man who had a withered hand. And they asked him, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath, that they might accuse him? Then he said to them, What man is there among you who has one sheep, and if it falls into a pit on the Sabbath, will not lay hold of it and lift it out? Twelve. Of how much more value, then, is a man than a sheep? Therefore it is lawful to do good on the Sabbath. Verse 13. Then he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. And he stretched it out, and it was restored, as whole as the other. Then the Pharisees went out and plotted against him how they might destroy him. 15. But when Jesus knew it, he withdrew from there, and great multitudes followed him, and he healed them all. He, yet, he warned them not to make him known. 17 that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, verse 18, Behold my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom my soul is well pleased. I will put my spirit upon him, and will declare justice to the Gentiles. 19. He will not quarrel, nor cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, and smoking flax he will not quench, till he sends forth justice to victory, and in his name, Gentiles will trust. Verse 22. Then one was brought to him who was demon-possessed, blind and mute, and he healed him so that the blind and mute man both spoke and saw. And all the multitudes were amazed and said, Could this be the son of David? Now when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This fellow does not cast out demons except by Beelzebub, the ruler of the demons. 25. But Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to dis desolation, and every city or house divided against itself will not stand. If Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then will his kingdom stand? And if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. Verse 28. But if I cast out demons by the Spirit of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. Or how can one enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods, unless he first binds the strong man, and then he will plunder his house? 30. He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters abroad. 31. Therefore I say to you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven men, but the blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven men. Anyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man, it will be forgiven him. But whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit, it will not be forgiven him, either in his age or in the age to come. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree bad and its fruit bad. For a tree is known by its fruit. Brood of vipers, how can you, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. 35. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good things, and an evil man out of the evil treasure brings forth evil things. But I say, say to you that every idle word men may speak, they will give account of it in the day of judgment. For by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. Verse 38. Then some of the scribes and Pharisees answered, saying, Teacher, we want to see a sign from you. But he answered and said to them, An evil and adulterous generation seeks after a sign, and no sign will be given to it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish. So will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh will rise up in the judgment with this generation and condemn it, because they have re they repented at the re preaching of Jonah. And indeed a greater than Jonah is here. 42. The queen of the south will rise up in the judgment with this generation and condemn it.
For she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And indeed, a greater than Solomon is here. Verse 43. When an unclean spirit goes out of a man, he goes through dry places seeking rest and finds none. Then he says, I will return to my house from which I came. And when he comes, he finds it empty, swept, and put in order. 45. Then he goes and takes with him seven of the spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter and dwell there, and the last state of that man is worse than the first. So shall it be with this wicked generation. Verse 46. While he was still talking to the multitudes, behold, his mother and brothers stood outside seeking to speak with him. Then one said to him, Look, your mother and your brothers are standing outside seeking to speak with you. 48. But he answered and said to the one who told him, Who is my mother and who are my brothers? And he stretched out his hand toward his disciples and said, Here are my bro mother and my brothers. Verse 50 and last. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. And in the name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed. As we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, are every of us the hearers. And now our prayer focus, Psalm 92. And it reads, It is good to give thanks to the Lord, and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. On an instrument of ten strings, on the lute and on the harp, with harmonious sound. For you, Lord, have made me glad through your work. I will triumph in the works of your hands. Five, O oh Lord, how great are your works! Your thoughts are very deep. A senseless man does not know, nor does a fool understand this. Seven, with a wicked spring up like grass, and when all the workers of iniquity flourish, it is that they may be destroyed for ever. But you, Lord, are on high for evermore. For behold your enemies, O Lord, for behold your enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. 10. But my horn you have exalted like a wild ox. I have been anointed with fresh oil. My eye also has seen my desire on my enemies. My ears hear my desire on the wicked who rise up against me. 12. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He, who, he shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. 14. They shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be fresh and flourishing to declare that the Lord is upright. He is our rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. Amen. And in the name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed. As we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, are every of us the hearers. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, for Psalm 107, verse 20. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. And let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you to say thank you. We sing praises to your name, Most, most High. We thank you for your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night over us, our little ones, our family, our pastors, and our brethren, our holy church in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, even our city. Thank you, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, for giving us gladness and allowing us to triumph in the works of your hands over our lives. Holy Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you that your works in our lives are great. We thank you for exalting our horn like a wild ox, anointing us with your Holy Spirit and power, allowing us to see our desires on our enemies, our ears to hear our desire on the wicked who have risen up against us. Because you, O Lord, are our avenger in the name of Jesus Christ, the man of war, who makes even our enemies to be at peace with us, that as they come for us one way, in the name of Jesus Christ, by your power and spirit, they flee from us seven ways. Thank you, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, for making us to flourish like palm trees. Both we, our little ones, our family, our pastors, and our brethren, in the name of Jesus Christ. And to grow like cedars in Lebanon, strong 
because you are our shield and buckler and fortress in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, that by you, our Redeemer and Lord, the storms of life do not move us, harm us, or unsettle us in the name of Jesus Christ, for our trust is in you in the name of Jesus Christ, that as it says in Romans 8, 28, all things work for good to those who are called in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so, Father, we thank you. We thank you for giving us the grace to be planted in your house, in your word, in your way, your truth, and your life, to flourish in your courts, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for healing, for keeping our bodies, minds, and spirit still bear fruit in old age, are fresh and flourishing, taking dominion in this life in the name of Jesus Christ, as you blessed us to do, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the grace, the faith, and the love to declare you, O Lord, are our rock and righteousness every day. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen in Jesus' name.